Hello and welcome to the Daily Comic and Collectible, episode 580. Now today, the collectible of the day is the Tamashi Nations, Bandai SH Figuarts, Marvel Comics, Burning Flame, Doctor Strange, Action Figure Set. You might think you've entered the mirror dimension when you see these out-of-this-world accessory parts included in the S.H. Figuarts Doctor Strange and Burning Flame set. The array of interchangeable flame and magic effect parts allow you to truly bring to life the fantastic world of superhero sorcerer Doctor Strange. Doctor Strange's facial expressions are replicated with superb detail, utilizing Tamashi Nation's digital coloring technology. The digital printing technique allows for the reproduction of minute details, that allow for the creation of expressions true to the character. This Doctor Strange figure stands six inches in height and is based on the movie Doctor Strange. It also includes an alternate head sculpt, comes fully articulated, and includes Mandela light and burning flame effects pieces. Box contents include the 112 scale Doctor Strange figure, interchangeable head sculpt, Interchangeable hand parts, four left and four right. Interchangeable hand parts for the effects, left and right. Effects parts, two large and two small. And burning of flame effects, three stationary type and four attachable type. This figure was released in 2017 by Tamashi Nations. Now, the comic of the day is Defenders, Volume 1, Issue Number 35, with a cover date of May 1976, with story by Steve Gerber, art by Sal Bushima, and cover by Gil Kane. This story is titled, Bring Back My Body to Me, to Me. The story opens in Moscow. The female Red Guardian swoops down to rescue a woman from a knife-wielding robber. But when the police arrive, it is she who has to flee as she's the one without official sanction. So Red Guardian returns to her apartment to answer a telephone call for her alter ego, neurosurgeon Dr. Tanya Belinskaya. It's Dr. Strange from the United States who urgently needs her help with a brain transplant. All is arranged, and Strange is able to return Jack Norris's consciousness to his body, leaving Nighthawk with the empty brain of Chandu the Mystic in his skull. Valkyrie and Jack accompany the Hulk in his search for his abducted fawn, Bambi, which has Chandu's consciousness in it. While Strange remains behind, to guard Kyle Richmond's brain for transplantation. Meanwhile, at the headquarters of the Headman, Arthur Nagin shows Ruby Thursday and Gerald Morgan the hideous results of his latest experiment. Suddenly, they're interrupted by the arrival of Nebulon and Bambi with Shondu's mind, the latter having tapped Nebulon's powers to bring them there. The fawn manages to explain everything about the weird brain and mind switching operations, and the headmen concentrate on his troubles for now. The irked Nebulon transports himself back to his business. Soon enough, Dr. Tanya Belinskaya arrives in New York City and is greeted by Dr. Strange and an official from the State Department. She is also accompanied by some security, who pretend they're there for her protection. But she confesses to Doctor Strange that their chief job is to prevent her from defecting. Meanwhile, Hulk goes to the Central Park Zoo, looking for his new friend Bambi, where security guards try to prevent a disaster by shooting him. That's when Valkyrie drops from her horse Aragorn onto Hulk, to prevent another disaster. Hulk gets mad 
and bounds away into the distance. Back at the headman headquarters, Chon Du awakens from anesthesia to discover that Negan has transferred his mind into a new body, one Negan considers more functional. He now has four lampreys where each arm had been, the legs and talons of a giant bird, red bat-like wings, a twisted horn on his head, plus a snake-like mouth and tongue. He is understandably a bit upset. Ruby must restrain him from killing Nagin. She explains that his mind is now immortal, and if he wants a better body, he can find it himself, and they will transfer his mind. Soon, in his new gruesome body, Shondu swoops down on a construction site and carries off a buff worker. Val and Jack, having lost track of Hulk, spot Shondu flying with his victim and pursue on Aragorn. Shondu sees them, drops his victim on a rooftop, and attacks. He snatches Val off the horse's back and she slices one of his wings off. They both fall, crashing through the glass rooftop of a classy restaurant. As the diners flee, Val beats the living hell out of her monstrous foe. But the police arrive and prevent her from killing Chandu, and place her under arrest. This story is continued in The Defenders, issue number 36. Geek Fact This is considered a key issue, being the first appearance of Tanya Belenskaya, the new Red Guardian who later becomes Starlight. Bonus Geek Fact Bambi was a deer that was saved from hunters by the Hulk, who named the deer after the popular animal character from the Disney story of the same name. The deer was kept at Doctor Strange's Sanctum Sanctorum and became the Hulk's pet. It later had its brain swished with that of Shondu the Mystic, who, angered by having his brain transplanted into the body of a deer, tried to thwart the defenders the best he could. It was kidnapped by Lubderites and attacked Jack Norris, inhabiting Nighthawk's body when he arrived in their prison. Shondu's mind was transferred into a new composite body by Arthur Nagin, much to his chagrin. The fate of Bambi is unknown, as the deer was not recovered by the defenders, and the Hulk had lost interest in the creature. Advertising Ad Fact A fearsome... Foursome! Monogram's new evil show rods. Four sinister looking four wheeled creatures to build and enjoy. Sinister? Yes. But what fun you'll have building and displaying these 124 scale plastic model kits. Designed exclusively by Monogram, by Tom Daniel. <laughs> you can choose Hangman, a fiendish custom tow truck loaded with ghoulish features, right down to the realistic noose dangling from the towing boom. <laughs> Sand Shark. <laughs> One of the most menacing machines you've ever laid eyes on. A custom show rod with shark decals, fins, and custom features you're really going for. Ah! The Rattler. The fork-tongued custom show rod that's sleek as a snake with a deadly Pontiac mill and custom goodies to really rattle your cage. <laughs> and finally, the stinger. 
deadly as a scorpion, this wild rear engine rail dragster puts the sting on its competition. One of the most unconventional dragsters to ever hit the asphalt. <laughs> Only from Monogram. <laughs> And final geek fact, Tanya Belenskaya is the daughter of Dr. Andrei Belenskaya, a leader of the Soviet dissident movement that protested repressive policies of the Soviet Union. As a child, Tanya aspired to serve the greatest need of the country. Her ambition in life was to serve others and no sacrifice was too great to achieve her goal. Tanya was secretly lonely. She never knew real friendship until she joined the ranks of the Defenders. At a young age, Belenskaya had already become one of the world's greatest and most renowned neurosurgeons. After her father was exiled to Siberia for his public denunciations of Soviet policies, Belenskaya decided to adopt a secret identity in order to help other dissidents and fight crime. Belenskaya named herself after the deceased Red Guardian and took a similar costume. She was the third person to use the name Red Guardian. Well, I'd like to thank you for joining me for another Daily Comic and Collectible and I hope to see you again Tuesday. This is Cat Fan Comics Fan, and I'll catch you on the flip. Over and out. 